Hello? Yeah, jeez. Hello everyone, Silent here and welcome back to another truly bedrock stream weekend. My voice just failed me as soon as I started talking. <laughs> Oh, we're off to a great start, aren't we? Hello! We got people here in the chat. Kaz and Archangel being the very first persons here. As per usual, how you doing? We got Lantern in the chat, along with Liz and Ryan, Salt Migleg, and Pretzel Rocks, Lord Vader, Zombie Clown King, Bonsai Stamps, and Ragnon, along with Wiz, Breb, Mel, and the other names were taken Cheetah, John, Some Lucky, and Diesel. How you guys doing? How's your day been? We got uh, Tano and Greek. The chat's going quick. We got Rango and Alien. Jester and Icarus. Icarus? Icarus? Icarus. No, I think it's just Icarus, right? I know words real well. <laughs> anyway, I need to pull up the redemptions before you guys spam me with a bad in action that I don't want to do. Let's see what do we got. There's probably already been in action. Now there isn't. Quick, get into the server before we can do it. To fight against the clock so I've done some work I've done some work off camera and I feel like you guys are going to enjoy the new look of the base so because uh, mr. Groova like you know pranked the base I am NOT where I thought I would be I, th I thought I was at the base okay well just pretend like I didn't say any of that it's a very nice day here on the truly bedrock server <laughs> Standing on any block that is a secondary color. Okay, well, I'm flying, so this works. Hey, we got a zap on the server. Not standing on any block. How about that, huh? <laughs> Let's take a nice flight around. How about that? There's a prank. There was a prank. I need to turn up the uh, the render distance. Because I turned that down for making a thumbnail. Today's thumbnail. If you haven't seen today's video, then definitely check that out. I spent way too much time on that. It's got a lot of cool information in it that you might not know about the hacking community of Minecraft Bedrock Edition and all the other things. Uh, really, really interesting stuff, honestly. Is this Java? This is Bedrock Edition. Work? Silent? Yeah, no work for us. We don't do work here. What's that server? Uh, we are on a truly Bedrock. Bedrock, SMP. Oh, I guess you probably saw it already. I just gotta stay up in the air for another few seconds. Okay. <laughs> so because Groova pranked the bottom of the base, I did a little bit of work off camera, and I decided to swap the color palette of the base. So everything that we had that was magenta is now swapped over to being orange. That includes all the glass, all the concrete, all the way up and down the entirety of the base. And that is just because Groova made the bottom of the base a little bit orange. And instead of fixing the bottom of the base, I decided it's simply easier to actually make the rest of the base orange. And uh, just to show you that this is real, like we can turn on ray tracing and it's actually got the really nice orange light. Not gonna lie, I kinda like it in orange a little bit better than I do in magenta because this is just such a good color. It's nice magenta or it's nice like uh, amber color. Goes good with the green. It's a little bit laggy because of reasons. Not my fault. But look how good that looks. Mmm, chef's kiss. <laughs> so much a pink soldier. Absolutely. <laughs> don't do it, Lord Vader. We don't have the levels for it. Don't have the levels for it. Oh, you're scared of watching my October-November video because of last year's Screamers? Yeah. Did I put Screamers? What did I do? Did I, did I put a Screamer? I might have put a jump scare and a Halloween video. I can't remember. I, I always do that in my uh, April 1st videos. If I make one. Get really, really quiet at the end of the video. Then really loud all of a sudden. Yeah. Looks pumpkin-y. It's a little bit pumpkin-y. I like it. It's good. Good aesthetic. Anyway, uh, so today we are working on finishing up the very bottom of the base. And by that, I mean the slime farms. Woo! More slime farms. <laughs> we actually have, like, nothing to do on these guys. Uh, they are remarkably close to being done. Gonna jump down to this area. What's the server? Do exhibition point TB in the chat and you'll learn everything there is to know about the truly bedrock server. 
I think we've had this server for 10 months. I think. I, I forget the exact timeline. I'm bad with memory. Spoopy month is your favorite month. It's definitely the best month of the year. Gary, thank you for resubscribing for nine months, three quarters of a year. Much appreciated. Hopefully you're doing great tonight. We also got Cheetah with the follow. Welcome in. Right then. So we did the ban in action. Fair enough. What's my favorite Minecraft update? Honestly, the Nether update is one of the best updates. It's just pulled off very well. Lots of cool things. And it's like Pigo stuff. So obviously. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, great. So this is still the middle. And then this side over here is the middle as well. So all three of the other slime farms are basically entirely done. Uh, we just need to do a couple little bits and bobs here or there for this slime farm. Basically, we just need to get in a couple of the snow golems. I don't know how many of these guys we actually need in total. Uh, but we're probably going to have to make some more minecarts and stuff. Anything else that I need? Oh, yeah, trapdoors. Always with the trapdoors. Minecraft 1.20, the hacking update. Yeah, the hacking scene's actually pretty crazy. I thought the technical Minecraft scene was insane with the things that they do sometimes. But the hacking scene is really crazy. There's so much stuff that you would, like, never expect to be in Minecraft. And then they just, like, up and do it. It's just crazy stuff in general. Don't be timing out somebody. I'm rejecting that. That's bullying. Bullying. No bullying. Are we going to mute Liz today? Absolutely not. Pick someone new to bully. <laughs> like me. <laughs> what happens to Slack and Jen? That's a question for them. Time out silent. Yeah, you can try. Try it. I dare you. You won't do it. You won't do it. Can't do it. You're too afraid. You know what will happen. <laughs> Bully Kuma. We can bully Kuma. But only a little bit, because they're they're slightly short. A short king. Or queen. Short royalty. There we go. I think that covers my bases. Look at this. I've done this how many times and I still forget to chop off the head. Look at that. Chop off the head. Are you shivering? You're you should not be shivering. You are literally made out of snow. I don't think that's allowed. Can cold things be cold? I I guess, okay, you know what? I guess he's allowed to be cold. Depending on how cold he is. Because he's only made to live in a certain environment. And if it's like, you know, negative three Kelvin or something, then like he, he's probably going to get a little bit chilly. So that's fine. I shouldn't be judging him. He is kind of cute, baby. He pretends to be this big, like, masculine, mean snow golem. But then you take off that mask. It's just like cute little, cute little baby. Baby face killed them. <laughs> Mew Ash. That's a great idea. We should definitely get on that. All in favor. Say aye. <laughs> Probably indefinitely cold. Well. We don't know how cold Minecraft biomes are. We know that they're cold enough to freeze a cubic meter of ice like relatively quickly. So, like, that's that's pretty cold, to be fair. Ash isn't even here. Just you wait. They'll show up. And when they do, sneak attack. Out of nowhere. They'll never see you coming. No one ever expects the Spanish Inquisition. Volcano update for 1.20. Yeah, what do we think the 1.20 update's gonna be? We need ideas. What's it gonna be? We do not know. There's nothing to go off of. It could be anything ever. Put a little warming fire next to his little toesy woesies. I mean, that sounds kind of polite. If he's a little bit cold, then, you know, maybe we just need to put a little fire right there next to him, you know? I'm nice like that. I help out my friendly golems. I think he tried to chop off the pumpkin. 
There we go. Yeah, we need a bigger hot bar in Minecraft. Cow update. We already had the Moo Bloom update. It was terrible. It was so bad it didn't even happen. <laughs> hey, Longhorn, welcome in. The sadness of the stack update. Everyone is disappointed. I mean, with such a big player base, pretty much no matter what you do, you're going to make somebody upset. I mean, it's kind of inevitable, really. It is physically impossible to make everyone happy. It is like a law of the universe. It's not allowed to make everyone happy. How did I place it up there? I wasn't even looking at that height. I'm pretty sure that's a universal constant. Somebody shall be disappointed and angered. And they will tweet about it. Honestly, though, like, Minecraft updates are pretty good. Like, most of them are not super game-changing. Which means that if you don't like them, you can just completely ignore them. Unlike that fall damage. There are a few updates where you just can't really ignore them. Like, you know, 1.18 that changes the whole overworld. But you can just, like, not go below Y0. Like, it is possible to ignore it. If you're very determined to be upset about it, you can you can just ignore it. And then, even with the deep dark, like, that's pretty easy to ignore as well. You can just not do it. Uh, the nether biomes are a little bit harder to avoid. Because, uh, you know, you kind of got to go find yourself a nether fortress if you want to beat the game. So, you kind of got to deal with some of the nether mechanics. The piglins and the gold and stuff. But, it's not really that big of a deal, I don't feel end update that changed how the dragon fight was 1.9 so i guess you gotta deal with that a little bit but otherwise like whatever it is if it's in minecraft you can pretty much ignore it and play however you want hi there there's not a block there we got connie resubscribe for nine months as well much appreciated along with runic with the follow Welcome in, guys. At this point, we can all agree Sniffer is going to win the mob vote, right? According to various Twitter polls, yeah. Uh, those Twitter polls are usually pretty accurate. However, uh, this year's mob vote does not take place on Twitter. It takes place in the Minecraft launcher on Minecraft.net. And probably in the Bedrock server. Uh, we'll see. See about that one. Uh, that means that millions upon millions more players are going to be able to vote this year than in previous years. So the maximum vote we've had in previous years is like 2.3 million on a Twitter poll. And that was over the course of like 20 minutes. So this year's mob vote is made to be accessible to every Minecraft player, regardless of where you're at or what you play on or what time zone you're in. Even if you can't watch Minecon, you can still vote for your mob. So I feel like we're probably going to get tens of millions of votes I mean, there's like 17 million active daily players. So we could very easily see a very large amount of votes. We probably won't know how many votes they're going to be cast unless it like decides to show us. Uh, we definitely will not know the winner until Minecon actually happens on October 15th at noon Eastern time. So set your calendars. Uh, you can start voting on October 14th at uh, noon Eastern time as well. So that's 9 a.m. Pacific. Too early for me. You want a sniffer? Uh, I'm probably going to go for sniffer as well. Honestly, they're all pretty fine. Like, they all have some, some pros to them. None of them are terrible. Again, if you don't like it, you can just, like, ignore it. It's not a big deal, right? Hey, String. It's also on a Saturday. Gotta want some Rascal. Rascal's pretty cool. You're here, but you don't add quotes. Come on, James. Are you at least gonna run the mod pool? I don't think there's one. But you can run one anyway. <laughs> uh, we need... Uh, we need to chop off this dude's face. Sounds more brutal than it is. 
I wonder how painful that is for the for the snow golem. They don't seem to mind it very much, so maybe it's not that big of a deal. Okay, last layer of the snow golems, and then we gotta install some item storage and junk. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the right layer. Yeah, it is. Wait, did we put uh, trapdoors on this one? We didn't put trapdoors on it. <laughs> 9 a.m. That's like early, early Australian. Yeah, it is pretty early for everyone. Why they gotta make it so early, man? I don't want to wake up. Like, in general, but especially early. Minecraft should know their player base by now. We don't do earliness. We sleep in. All the time. Maximum sleepage. Why is there just a pool out of stock? I don't know. I don't make the rules. Just like taking off a ski mask. Impossible and painful? That's what I thought. Okay. And last one. How many of these do we have? Four. There's eight. There's 32 snow golems in this. Late Australian. Either, either. Yeah. Either super late or super early. We only know which mob won during Minecraft Live. Yeah, they are announcing it during Minecraft Live. Uh, so we do not know until they tell us. It's not like you can look at a poll and they're not going to show you the numbers or anything. Which means that this whole thing is just a farce and Mojang's picking the one that they want. Ha ha ha. Uh, telling by the polls, though, it does seem like Sniffer's got a pretty strong majority support just about everywhere. It's like 60, 70, 78 <laughs> percent. It's, uh, it's a pretty popular little dude, to be fair. Pickaxe for axe? What? Placebo. Yeah, something like that. It's just a fake, a fake vote. You think you're choosing, but no, 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 no. So when a Mojang really wants a new golem, so we might see another one next mob vote. It's a pretty easy thing to put into a mob vote. You just like find a block, put the word golem after it, and then give it some sort of useless feature and then you're good i mean copper golem iron golem snow golem tough golem what's next wood golem it shoots arrows once per minute like i don't know <laughs> leaf golem gold golems gold golems could be cool no no uh no bias hmm. mint tea okay so the so the reason why we needed the one pumpkin from Mr. Beardstone that we stole is because you could just shear it off of the snow golem and then you can just straight up make another snow golem out of it. Just straight up infinite snow golems, which probably shouldn't exist, but it does. And that's what we've been doing. So now we have 32 snow golems installed all across the four slime farms. And that is all of the attractions for all the slimes. So that is pretty much all of that done. Now we just got to install some magma blocks, some item collection, and pump all of the items up to the main base, which is like 100 blocks above us. Hello, Mr. Guy. Welcome in. Uh, let's see. We need legitimately one more trapdoor. Always one block short. <laughs> dirt golem. Throws dirt in the eye. Man, that's like Bully Maguire. Uh, let's see. So we just need all that junk. I don't think we need any of this junk anymore. Maybe the one rail. Actually, we'll need the minecarts as well. And 
And then what else do we need? We need the redstone box for all the rails. Was that a cave sound as soon as I opened that? It sounded like a cave sound. That was way too much noises for that thing. One hopper my car. I guess we'll take that then. Two hoppers. We're going to need eight of these. And then, of course, we need all the levers that we can have. We're going to need more rails as well. Okay. That was spooky. It was kind of spooky. Oh, hostile mobs need to be fantasy. Except, you know, silverfish and spiders and dragons. Choose a golem. <laughs> I mean, they should just do a golem update. Just give us a bunch of golems. I don't see what the problem with that would be. Right, let's not clutter the inventory quite yet. Uh, but we'll keep the iron on hand. And then we need some of these doodads. And another stack of rail. That should probably do it. Do we have enough gold for this? We might need to pop up to the base and uh, grab some gold so that we can make more of the powered rails. That foam prank. It's too difficult. One twenty one the golem update, yeah for sure. Let's do it. I dare you, Mojang. Make a golem update. Have I watched Hamilton? I have not. I think I've seen like a couple little clips here or there, but in general, no, I haven't haven't watched Hamilton. Hmm, what do we want to do up here? Grab some gold. Just grab some power bills. <laughs> I think this is all the gold I have. Okay, this is gonna go great. How much of this do you think I need? A stack? I guess that's all we can keep in the inventory. And, oh, more levers as well. That's actually a good idea. Always got to have more levers. Seriously, the most underrated block in Minecraft is levers. Take golems in the new Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, if they just add like 30 golems. Just let us craft a golem out of anything. Who cares? It's Minecraft. We can do whatever we want. I need more of uh, the logs. There we go. Okay, is that everything that we need? I feel like we got ice and all that other garbage. So we should be good. Uh, we are going to put the iron blocks away. Because those are cluttering... And then we'll make a little bit of inventory room. Okay. Geronimo! I like the orange. It took a few hours to do that, but I like it. It's definitely worthwhile. Shulker golem. Inner chest golem. <laughs> Golem made from other golems. You know it. This thing's already working pretty well, and I haven't even, like, turned it on yet. Not officially, anyway. Ah, uh, Rampage! That's how we do it. Glow in the dark slimes. Yeah, they're radioactive slimes. We don't question it. Stop questioning it. Right, okay, we should. Oh, I forgot about the minecart unloaders. Am I dumb? Sometimes I am, yes. Most, most of the time I am. Yes, yeah, so we want the unloaders to be over here.
Ah, oh, this is gonna take a lot of rail. And then you're gonna want some rail like every few blocks like this probably. I don't know how much we're going to really need to keep this minecart going, but hopefully this will be enough. And then one on the ends like this. I I would think that this is enough. Uh, I'm just going to put a redstone block underneath that. Or maybe I'll put a torch down there, actually. That sounds like the better idea. Redstone torch will save us some items. Like a, a lot of items. I don't really have a ton of redstone anyway. How's my day going? My day's going pretty good. I was hoping today's video would do a bit better. But it is what it is. I thought everybody liked hackers. Or hacker videos. <laughs> oh, come on now. Is there a way to increase saturation in Bedrock? Uh, like texture saturation? You can just get a more saturated texture pack. Don't bully Liz. Or anybody, for that matter. Thank you. We run a wholesome community around here. I don't need y'all bullying each other. <laughs> Okay, so this should run until we hit the next side. Yeah, here we go. Get down from there. No jumping on the farm. You know what we should do? We should make a slime arena. We should have some form of arena where it's just like literally like four or five slime chunks around you. And it's just constantly pouring slimes into you. And then you gotta fight them all until you die. No food, no weapons. You just go until you can't. I still work on the slime farm? Yes, I am. And we're, we're nearly done with it. Don't judge me. <laughs> am I running out of rails already? Slime farm? Yes. All the slime. That's not working. We're not building one slime farm, guys. We're building four slime farms. It's a lot of slime. Not your average slime farm. Yeah, I think for a slime arena, you, you would definitely need to be on Java Edition. Because uh, you just don't get that many slimes on Bedrock, I don't think. In Java, you can have just like all of the all of the things spawn at once. It's actually kind of insane. How many mobs you can get in one area. On bedrock you can get like seven or eight. Maybe like ten or eleven if you're really lucky. Which is way better than it used to be. There's just water everywhere. Uh, maybe this isn't such a big deal. There we go. Yeah, it used to be that you could only get, like, three mobs. Because <laughs> all your caves would be full and none of them would ever despawn. Mob despawning didn't used to exist. Can I please hydrate? I hydrate all the time. Thank you. When will the mangrove tree farm be done? I don't know. I haven't worked on it at all since that live stream. <laughs> It'll be done this year. I think that's enough wiggle room. Add more aquifers to Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft 1.20, the aquifer update. Just what everybody's been asking for. Okay, we really need some more torches. 
So if I dig straight this way, we should hit the next one. Yeah, here we go. And then if I dig again, we'll hit the next one. The beauty of everything being chunk aligned. There's no... There's nothing more nice than a chunk aligned farm. Box of use. We have coal in here. Look at that. All those times I ran out of torches. Could have just made some more. You just hit 100,000 pick up points? Oh no. That's too many. We got a wardrobe change from Liz. Thank you for that. Let's go ahead and switch on over to the Mojang dev that I used in today's video. Or, uh, maybe this guy looks similar to a hacker. <laughs> That's a, that is a lot of pickup points. That's a lot of bandit actions. Don't get any ideas. Uh, actually, you know what? We should grab some more rails. Are they in the other box? Where'd they go? Okay, well, that'll work, I guess. I think it'd be really nice to see what's in a shulker just by hovering over it, like all the items. You can do that on Java with a texture pack, but you can't do it on Bedrock. I don't think. No one's done it yet, anyway. It would definitely be really convenient. I can totally see why people uh, add that to their, their everyday textures. Do you have any upgrade to inventory that will be useful, will be part of it? I think Mojang likes how bad the inventory system is because it creates chest monsters. Uh, maybe. An inventory update kind of has to happen at some point in the future because our inventory systems were only designed for, like, you know, a couple items. Like, the inventory's been the same size since forever. It's, it's never changed, basically. So at some point, something's going to have to give. Whoop, that's the wrong. The wrong thing. There we go. And let's just run this into the wall. Easy. Hopefully this will be enough magma blocks as well. Just dump every single point you have into a prediction. I wonder how that would pay off. If you dumped 100,000 points into one prediction. I mean, you can only lose 100% of your money. But you could gain... More than that, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how gambling works. Just introduce a chess monster. <laughs> That would actually be really fun. Uh, a lot of games have mimics where it looks like a chest and then you go to open it and like attacks you. I think that would be pretty good. No drink should tell you do that. Where is he going? The guy was on a mission. Right then, so where do these power rails go? And then right here. Okay, all that's done. Easy. 
Hello, butterfly. How do you zoom in? I got an FOV changer. And it just changes your FOV from like 70 to whatever you want. I got 70 to 30, I think. So this is just 30 FOV. It's basically just a little bit of a zoom. Very convenient. Looks as though I failed to power a power rail. Probably somewhere, yeah. We'll figure that out at some point. When, whenever we put a cart on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's slimes underneath here. Can they spawn on levers? They shouldn't be able to spawn on levers. Uh, all that should be fine. Yeah, okay, whatever. And then, how are we gonna meet this up to the next side? I think if we dig across by a few blocks, we'll meet up with that side. If I have my directions correct. Yes, here we go. Hey, Ellie Beatmaker! Welcome in! How you doing tonight? Good, sir? It's good to see your face. With your beautiful eye. How was your stream? Tonight, we are working on the Truly Bedrock server, building up ourselves some slimy, wimey farms. And you know what? I'm actually going to rip out these magma blocks because it makes it so much easier to build this. Ellie Raid! When's the next music video? I need my, my, my fix! <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this is kind of a quad slime farm that we got underneath the base. Uh, our base is basically as vertical as you can get it. So we got one farm over here, and then the next one, and then there is a third one behind that wall that I'm not going to be showing you because it's annoying. And this fourth one is very beautiful. That is a lot of slime! Oh my, this is not- this has been built for like three seconds. Too much slime in too little amount of time. Literally like a minute or two? Hold on, we need to- we need to throw down a minecart on that, because that is an absurd amount of slime. Sir, uh, power, please. How much do you think that's gonna be? That's gotta be a couple stacks already. I legit just built this. This has been running for no time. Zero time has happened. Uh, Diagonal, thanks for gifting a sub to Ellie. Much appreciated. Literally four stacks. <laughs> okay, this slime farm's gonna be crazy. Hey, stop it. Oh, you broke right there? That's not convenient. Okay, let's check out the rest of the base real quick, because we have some, uh, some things that are kind of interesting to look at. We can get out of the slime farm. It's very tall. That's the only, that's its only attribute. It just has height 100. Bedrock to build height. A lot of pain. A lot of pain with the base. <laughs> Hope you got feather falling. We've definitely killed a couple people on the base. Uh, yeah, you can't even quite see the bottom, no matter your render distance, because the fog just always piles in. It's kind of annoying. Why have four farms when one's enough? Because you can have four! There was four slime chunks provided to me, graciously, by the game. So I decided that we were going to have four. You can't just build one if you got four. I mean, come on. Can we try on the ray tracing? Whoa. Uh, typically, all of this glass is magenta, but I just swapped it all out for orange because of a spooky season. Hopefully, this isn't too laggy for you guys on stream. It's, it's always like perfect, buttery, smooth frames for me. But whenever I stream it, it just gets laggy on stream for no reason. I forgot to switch out the beacon. Yeah. That do be the base. 
And then we're working in this nasty, dirty, dark, dank, wet, slimy little corner. <laughs> uh, that's too many slimes, actually. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. Nope. 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 Too many slimes. Damn it! Maybe we should just put them all into a hole somewhere. I should give the slimes a hug. What do you think I'm doing? This is like acupuncture, but slime. This might actually feel kind of good, IRL. Just get smacked by a bunch of slime. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Nickelodeon have like a whole series about that? Just slime. I forget the the point of that series, but I know people just got completely dunked in slime. That's the only thing I remember. It's just a lot of slime. Okay. Can I make a slime block? No, I gotta have crafting table for that. Just a kid's comedy show. Well, I guess it, it worked, because, like, it was kind of funny. <laughs> Is that going to straighten out? Yeah, it's fine. I don't think enough things in real life use slime as their primary thing. Like, when was the last time you washed your dishes using slime? Probably never, and I think that's a disgrace. Slime does not get the attention it deserves. Hello, Big. I'm doing well. How about you? You play Slime Rancher? That's about the only thing that really honors slime. Is Slime Rancher. Other than that, everybody just ignores the wonders of slime. Slime Rancher seems fun. I've never actually played it, but I have heard good things about it. Okay, this is three of the slime farms basically done with the rails. Uh, then we gotta go build a couple unloaders. Those should be pretty easy. And then auto droppers and water streams on top of those. Uh, before we get to that, though, we definitely need to unload some junk. Does I have a crafting table? I swear I had a crafting table. Did I leave it behind somewhere? I should play Slime Rancher. What What's it about? Do you just farm slime? I don't know if that's very humane. I might be willing to try it. It's way too laggy? No, for the 24 stacked raid farm, you gotta build it as shown. You can't move the villagers any other way. Because the point of moving the villagers isn't to actually move the villager itself. You're moving the village. And the village is what allows the farm to actually function the way that it's shown. If you move them any other way, the farm is not going to work. Uh, yeah, you want all 25 or 24, 48 of those villages to actually get moved and stacked up on top of each other. And the only way to do that is to move the villagers themselves, as shown in the video. So, yeah. It's a bit of a pain, like an Omega pain, but it is what it is. Kind of got to do what you got to do. Let's see. Do we have any gold? We don't. That's something that we should carry, though. I think that'd be useful. Anyway, well, I guess this is all the powered rails we got. We still are going to need some more, though, so we're going to have to go find some gold in the, in the base somewhere. Do we need more levers? We might need more levers. Slime Rancher has me. Oh, there's multiple ki kinds of slime. That's great. We need more types of slime in Minecraft as well. Do 
is this? Is there any reason for that to exist? Oh, that's probably a little aquifer thing. Building an eroded badlands. Eroded? What do those ones look like? I, I've, per, I've definitely seen one, but you know how the biome names are. I do not know what that looks like off the top of my head. Oh, hi. That's lovely. Do I have any more blocks? I don't. Okay. Steal some blocks from here real quick. Dirt slime. I don't see any reason why we can't have any slime that we want. Same goes for the the golems. Let me make a dirt golem. There we go. Ice packs with badlands. Oh yeah, the uh, the big spiky things. Yeah, I love those guys. I've always wanted to build there, but you really gotta build like either something alien and treat it like it's Mars, like how uh, Beef did on season four of Hermitcraft, or you gotta build a Western like everybody else on the planet. And I can't build Western. So, there's still some walkways over here. Okay, so that is this farm done. That is this farm done. And this one. And now it's time for the next one. 1 21 the slime and golem update. I would not be opposed to this. I feel like this is a great idea. Mojang should put us in charge of their next update. Which they actually kind of are, now that I think about it. With the mob boat. I should build a space base. A flying base does sound fun. But at the same time, also kind of painful. Gotcha! One hit kill. That's how strong I am. I've been working out recently. Hi, you followed me. They're very loyal pets. That's why slime's the best. Okay, so yeah, we just gotta do some rail lines for this one now. Uh, we do have a bunch of recent followers as well. Thank you for that, everybody. We got Mass May and Baby Thug, along with Death Builds and Alk Melon, and you got to hydrate. <laughs> that's your. It's <laughs> a great name for for Twitch. Uh, Silent Destroyer, uh, Macronate, Mess Macronate. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. And Ezekiel Minecraft. Thank you for the follows, everybody. Welcome in. Excuse me while I punch this dude in the face. Do you just go around to everybody's Twitch channel and just be like, hey, you gotta hydrate. Can you please just place the correct thing in there? Thank you. So that's exactly what you did here. <laughs> Think of building planets in the sky. If you're gonna do that, you should do it in the end. Come on now. Making me look like a fool. <laughs> Missed that guy four four times. Slimy skid marks. No. No skid marks. You guys have an obsession and you need to stop. <laughs> Do I not have any more levers? Uh oh. 
How am I always running out of this stuff? Okay. Uh, right then. Where's the... the fortune? Oh, this isn't going to be enough rails either. Okay. About to go back up and get some more stuff. It's kind of to be anticipated anyway. Water assault's very good. I, if you have a sore throat, maybe. I don't have any blocks anymore. Too many items in this game for me to keep track of. My small brain just gets overwhelmed. Rumba, welcome in. Get the cookies and water because they don't like milk. What? I mean, that's fine if, if you'd like it that way, but what? <laughs> I mean, at least you don't eat your cereal with tap water, right? 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 <laughs> just, get a, just get a bigger brain. I wish... Man, you know how much I'll pay for a bigger brain? I'll pay like tree pity. Pretty good deal. Big dupes, cookies, and water. I know, right? We're not gonna judge. This is a safe space. But you're pushing the limits. You're pushing the limits of what's acceptable. Just wanna let you know you're on thin ice, okay? We take the treatment of cookies very seriously around here. And and if you can't respect them, then well, I I don't know what's going to happen, but <laughs> we're going to have to call in the experts. Okay, well, that's all of the powered rails that we have. Okay, this rail is going to be right here, actually. Yeah, we're going to have to go find more gold. We might have some gold ore that we can smelt down. Or we might have some chilling out in, like, a chest or something. Okay. That's, that's all that, then. Let's get out of here. And that should be a Minecraft feature. It kind of is. It's a frosted ice. From uh, Frostwalker. Yeah, no, you're kind of right, too, though. There should be, like, a half slab of ice. And if you walk on it, you fall through. Or it starts cracking, at least. You can only dip cookies in milk, coffee, and chocolate milk. Coffee? Yeah, okay, I can kind of see that. Maybe you got one of those hard, gross cookies that you buy at the coffee shop because it's the only thing they have to eat. Yeah, I can see that. That's fine. How do we actually get out of here? Like, what's the actual exit plan for this? And don't tell me it's right here, because this is the water area. It's just nothing but water. Okay, I told you. I guess that works. Buttons! Ow. <laughs> Call the cookie monster real quick. That's exactly what I was thinking when I said calling in the experts. <laughs> exactly what I was thinking. Thank goodness water no longer washes away rails. Uh, doesn't it though? Rain drops in a Poseidon. Thank you so much for the follows.
Okay, gold. Do we have any? I want some. 23 of those and 12 of those. Just pop those straight into the furnace. I just spent a bunch of gold blocks on that statue, didn't I? Back on fortune. Why would I do that? There might also be some gold in the lower smelters. Yeah, here's a little bit. Uh, let's toss that in there. We might have some downstairs, too. Oops, not that one. Nah, that was all iron, wasn't it? Okay, fair enough. I could make a gold farm, but I only need, like, 20 powered rails, so... Kind of a uh, bit overkill, I think. We also need to figure out where exactly we're going to be moving this stuff into. So let's take a look at that real quick. We have this whole storage system right here, which is where I think it's all going to get moved into. And the input of that would be somewhere over here. So this entire bay could be slime. Slime, 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 slime. The whole thing could be slime if we really wanted it to be. And then down from here, I don't think there's anything. What do we actually have that's down from here? A cow cooker. A tiny mob farm. A lava farm. Okay, so we do need to go over a few blocks. And that also has a water stream in it, too. And then villager crop farms. And I think that's it. Oh, wait. What's this? Sugarcane farm? And nobody cares about that anyway. Yeah, okay. So we need to go over a few blocks. But I think we should be fine. <laughs> wait, we are digging straight down. And there's a lava farm below us. So we do need to watch out for that, actually. Fall into lava and die from my own farm. That would be something. Does anybody have a gold shop on TV? I don't think so, but we should be good. Oh, nice. All of our iron smoked down as well. That's that's great. Should we start with Steam next base? I could, but that means I'd actually have to like build something that people already know what it looks like. So I'd actually have to build it, like, well. And that's just too much pressure for me. I don't know what... Oh, we need to go down to, like, Y level 15, don't we? <laughs> okay. Well, only 160 blocks to go. Minecraft's tall. Nobody can call Minecraft short anymore. Foxy is a gold farm. Well, guys, we need like 15 powered rails. I got, I got the gold for it. It's all good. We're fine. You're short. It shorts its own aesthetic, you know? Oh, no! This stupid farm room. I forgot about this. How far down? Oh, we still gotta go down another 90 blocks. All the way down to there. Okay. <laughs> it just happens to be... I mean, we could push it back like five blocks. Burn the room to the ground. Yeah, I think that's the only option. Okay, let's just push it back like one, two, three. Let's push it back four blocks and then we'll just have a bubble column behind that wall. How about that? I think that's how we'll, that's how we'll do it. And make sure to leave this hole right here as well that we can fall in it several more times throughout the rest of the stream.
go. Yeah, so one, two, three, four. Let's just push it back by five and see what happens. And we should avoid absolutely everything at that rate. Do you hear dynamite? Yeah, it's Roadrunner. They're dropping anvils on me now. Anvils don't even need to, like, land on the ground to damage you, do you? Do they? If they just fall through you, they still damage you. Like, if you're standing or floating mid-air and an anvil drops through you, I'm pretty sure that still damages you, right? Oh, yeah, the lava farm's, like, right there. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. No! The oh, God. I come on. What does this go to? Oh, this is the villager crop farm. Oh, my God. Okay. We got to push it back another two blocks, guys. I guess another block. Would be fine. We need a subreddit. Uh, we do have one. Uh, slash, or yeah, our Silent Whisper and our the Silent Syndicate. But we never use either of them because, like, why? Basically. Smaller than Kuma. I am the smallest. But still not smaller than Kuma. Fall right through you. How funny was Groove's Power Snow Prank? It was pretty good. I mean, I changed the entire base to work around it. Okay, this is just a cave. So, I mean, it's a pretty, pretty solid prank, and it made me redesign the whole base. And the slime farms are, like, really, really down here. Like, all the way down. Okay, why level 15? So, somewhere over there-ish is the slime farms. Uh, we'll just dig this out, I guess. Oh, hi. Well, that's actually kind of convenient. Oh yeah, okay, so the slime farms are right above that lava lake. Stop it. Stop it. Is gravel and silverfish in my way? I must be going the right direction. Do you guys know the coordinates of the slime farms? <laughs> right now we're on 1133 so i'm just gonna dig this out a ways and then oh yeah well here's the aquifer uh we'll just go to the slime farms and then we'll dig to 1133 and we'll we'll get to it so much digging oh you should have seen the base a couple months ago it was just all the digging the only thing i had going for the base was just a big old hole in the ground uh i kind of want this lapis Ryan, then we need to dig that down. Another block as well. <laughs> Oops, not quite right. Jeez, okay. Hello, Canada. How you doing? Abraham Lincoln did say everything on the internet's true. That's a fact. That's a well-known uh, quote from Abraham Lincoln. I mean, some people don't believe it, but facts are facts. You can't. Are you, you're really going to try and argue with Abraham Lincoln? Ridiculous. 
Okay, so all this is done, right? Yeah, okay. I'm glad you like the base. What's the good items to have on your hotbar? Uh, pretty much what I got right now is usually good. I boiled it down to just these couple things. It's like, you always need to pick axe. I got a bow just as some sort of weapon. And then secondary tool, because you often need that. Uh, food and torches and rockets are always good, too. It really depends on what you're doing, though. Yeah, you're gonna push me over like that? And the knee power rails? Yes, that's what the gold is for. Gotta dig all this down first, though. Hi there. Okay. Yeah, so that is gonna be the bubble column. And then we'll have to fill in some blocks. To uh, make that fully work. <laughs> yep. You can definitely trust everything you see in a Twitch chat, guys. Okay. And gold. We'll take all this iron, too, since I actually need all that for the beacons. So two stacks and 36 is how much we need for all of those. Uh, that looks like we have barely enough for an extra two beacons, which I think is all we need. Yeah, we're actually kind of good on that then. Okay. Because we already made one of them. We have the other beacon base down there, and then we need to make two more. And Lincoln is credited for inventing the choke slam. Yeah, he was a uh, world class MMA fighter. That's why you don't mess with Lincoln. Especially not in an epic rap battle history. I mean, he is, he is ruthless. Have you guys seen epic rap battles in history? I mean, you probably have. They have like 20 bajillion subscribers, but like, if you haven't, they're good. Abe Lincoln just gives a smackdown every time there's an election. Speaking of, no, I don't think they do midterms. No, they only do presidential elections. Dang it, I wanted more ERB in my life. Sadness. I'm, I'm still not a builder. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I just throw down some blocks. I mean, this this is uh, the back side of the base. Yeah, no, this is Ugg Lee. First name Ugg, last name Lee. But the outside, or is this the inside or the outside? I don't know, this side of it, that, that's pretty all right. <laughs> Lincoln wrote the blockchain. That is pretty nice though, not gonna lie. Mwah, beautiful. Not too shabby, right? I mean, that's pretty good. I like it. Shiny color make brain go. Ooh. Ah. Do I have any sticks? Turn this dark out into sticks. Actually, we don't have very much dark out. I'll save that for later. The choke slam. <laughs> Still thinking about that. Uh, who would win in a fight? Abraham Lincoln, the internet is silent. Oof, 6% for me. Man, you guys are generous. <laughs> Abe Lincoln beats the internet. I think that's accurate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spooky season. Uh, right then, we also need actually a little bit of that iron. Or more regular rails. All right, you get 16 per. Because regular rail crafting is amazing. That's right.
Okay, I think we're all good to go now. Do I have uh, wrestling torches? Okay, great. Take a little bit of a detour to the top of the base for 20 minutes, and then we're ready to go for finishing up the slime farm. Yeah, so what I just learned is that Abe Lincoln just completely smacked me down in my own stream. That's how much of a chad Abe, Abe Lincoln is. I mean, can't argue with that. It wasn't even a close fight. <laughs> Man, just destroyed me. <laughs> it's not even alive and I lost. I mean, that's embarrassing. You guys must really not like me. <laughs> I know he's a celebrity, but dang. Ain't gotta do me like that. Uh, Let's see. We need one of those. And then... Stupid rail directionality. Who's Abe Lincoln? MMA world champion. Most of us for you. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate that a lot. Why was that with all the insults yesterday? Uh, look at the video that I posted today. It has some insults in it as an example of a toxic discord. <laughs> I just needed some sort of footage for that. I was like, uh, I don't know. It does ruin rails. Like, hey, Discord, can you insult me? And you guys, uh, did not, did not hold back. It's great. Stop it. Why is there water everywhere? I know it's called the blue planet, but we don't need that kind of realism in Minecraft. We can just skip that part. Okay. Oh, I gotta keep going this way, though, because I need more of the room for the unloader. Water's gonna pay. Gonna pay damages for all the water damage. Aquifers are great. Uh huh. In real life, aquifers are nice. They give you, like, wells and stuff. Get sponges. It takes too much effort. It's easier just to suffer through it. Uh, we got a few more followers as well. Raindrop and Emotion 1 Optional X No, along with X Zay Dam. Uh, the John Baca, along with Mountain Dew Hee Hee. Uh, Plex and Piment, along with Kong. Thank you for the follows, everybody. Hopefully I butchered your names appropriately. Okay, so now we need ourselves some of the minecart unloaders. So, comparators, repeaters, redstone torchers, uh, redstone dust, lay hoppers. Actually, I'm going to need more hoppers. <laughs> no need for sponges, because... Just get some cookies to dip in the water. <laughs> You're an evil person. I don't even regret saying it. You're just an evil person. Uh, we also need lay droppers. We only need eight of those. And then, oh wait, no, we're gonna need more comparators. Because we need to make auto dropper clocks. Let's see. No need for sponges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get bread. Do you dip bread in water? Don't. Okay. You just need to stop talking. <laughs> stop it. Get some help. How do you build a minecart unloader? How do I always forget this? Placing redstone components just because ah you're mean. 
Joke's on you. I wasn't going to be productive anyway. Oh, my. There's water everywhere in this base. I'm in the middle of a mountain. Right, so that's going to be there just to give it enough momentum. And then we'll have a block here. Uh, this will be our hopper. This will be our block. And then we'll have... Oh my god. We'll have pain. Flooded mountain. Stop having water. Stream has devolved to me complaining about water. I would not have it any other way. I get for building on top of the aquifer, I guess. And hot dog eating competitions, they put the bun in water to make it easy to swallow. They they should just stop having that as a sport if that is the winning strategy. Also, why is that a sport? Of all the things to eat, you had to choose hot dogs? I, I have serious questions. They, they, they get really good at it because humans are really good at what they set their mind to. But that's, that's not the point. The point is, but why though? Okay, this should work fine. Is that going to bring me any items? <laughs> All the skid mark stuff is from you. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. You're gonna have to clean that up. It's, uh, that's uh, your responsibility now. <laughs> How shall dip thy cookie in water? Yes, okay, so now we need the uh, auto dropper thingy. Let me guess, water. Yep. I don't know why I'm surprised at this point. Water there too? Yep, okay. A little bit of water. A little bit of water there too. Oh, yep, a little bit of water right there too. Okay. Alright, just gonna... Throw my hands in the air like I don't care. Uh, We need more room for this, actually. Hmm. Uh, you know what we can do? Turn this to the sky. I think it's probably somewhere in the world. There we go. That's how you do it. Oh, this is going to get awkward for this one, though. You like to make toast in the microwave? That doesn't even work. Does it work? Quick, somebody Google it. Tell me if you can make toast in the microwave. I really hope that you... I mean... Does physics forbid it, or... Is that okay? Because microwaves only work by heating up the actual water, and... Toast only gets toasted after the water is removed. Just stales it. It's just a bread staler. I mean, if, if it did work, toasters wouldn't be as important then, would they? Hmm. I don't know how, how I feel about this. Air fried pick. No! <laughs> Stop it! Why is there still what? What are you doing over here? I thought I was done with the water. Man, you can't escape it. Uh, I should probably test these auto droppers as well. I'm fairly sure I know what I'm doing. I've only built these things a thousand times. Yeah, okay. Uh, is this actually going to pick up items though? Does this one actually pick up items? 
Yeah, okay, look at that. That actually does work. I know what I'm doing, sort of. Right, so water stream's gonna loop around this way, then. This is getting to be kind of a messy water stream. Why is there still... Oh my god, I'm, I'm going crazy with the water here. I never thought I'd have to have a war against water, but... They've driven me to this point. They torture me out of love. No, I think you just like it. That is built to die, right? We don't talk about that. Every, everything goes in war against water. <laughs> if you need to place down some... Some forbidden blocks to stop the flow of water, then so be it. These exceptions can be made. Uh, let's see. Get, I have so much of flooded inventory. Get a war against water. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. that's true. It's pretty devastating war. Waters where the glow squid lives. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see about this. Uh, did I not put one of those right there? I guess I didn't. Okay. That one's done. Now we gotta go dump him before I make minecarts and stuff. Okay, so what are you guys going to do if the stone or the tough golem wins Minecon? Do I like the Ring of Power and do I like Theo? Which one is Theo? I forget all the characters' names already. <laughs> Unless they really mention a person's name like 20 times, I always forget their name in shows. Like I'm watching uh, House of the Dragon, I'm like, I don't know <laughs> the names of most of these people. It gets so confusing. Because all the names sound similar. Now they got characters that share names. Uh, but yeah, Rings of Power is good. Everybody is Sauron. And all you guys are just going to be sad if uh, Tough Golem wins. Well, too bad. Tough Golem is going to win. So, you gotta realize that the majority of people who are gonna be voting don't know anything about these mobs. Uh, five more, I think. Because a lot of the people who are gonna be voting are gonna be seeing it in the launcher and on the bedrock thing, and they probably don't even really. Like, a lot of people probably don't even know what's happening. Don't do that, Lord. <laughs> I've seen people compare every single mob in this mob boat to the LA. The Sniffer, the Tough Golem, and the, uh, the Rascal. Right, we need more actual hoppers as well. Hopefully that'll be enough. It's not going to be enough. Maybe. We'll find out, I guess. How many items for this? We need droppers and all that stuff? Okay. Tough Golem is just a living armor stand item frame. It really is. Uh, by the looks of it. So, I mean, I guess that's kind of cool in its own right. But it's it's kind of... It's kind of basic, I feel. I feel like if you're going to add a golem, there's a lot of different cool things you could do. And... A 
tough golem and a copper golem are not the cool things that you could do. I, I know that's a controversial statement, but I need you to hear me and that it's correct. I feel like we should be able to have this open dialogue with one another and realize that tough golem could be a lot better. Okay, uh, repeaters. Oop, okay. Do you think it would be easier to play this game if it was simpler? Like, maybe it's getting too complex. Like, if there's there's just so many items now. Did I miss a rail in there? There's so many items now that even building this simple little contraption is taking a while. Especially with the inventory problems. Are you going to make it? Okay. It's getting to be too many items. That's what I'm trying to get at. Oh, we got to go another block over. And then we got to go a few blocks back from here. You like Minecraft with it all? I mean, it's all good stuff. But at some point or another, the game is going to be become so big that learning it is kind of a task. Like, even when I first started... Learning Minecraft was just a task and a half to uh, know what everything was. And since then, there's been like four major updates. We're going to fill in all this. So that I don't build water streams in these. Okay, so water stream is going to go around this way. And then it's going to loop up with this dude. Yeah, okay, so that's half the farm's done. Now we just need to do that on the other side and then loop them together. <laughs> this episode being the real winner? What was the real winner last year? I I forget what the options even were, to be fair. You guys told me what they were again the other day, but I still forget. <laughs> Hello, Sarah. The Bluetooth keyboard and mouse still don't work good with Pocket Edition. Is that a result of a bad update or uh, your specific device that you're trying to use just not being that great? Because some of those Bluetooth devices are kind of trash. I think I forgot on something else. There was a third thing. I so forget what it was. Was it Moobloom, was it? No, that was the Isolager one. That was two years ago. What was it? <laughs> I so forget. Oh, it was the stupid glare. That's what it was. Yeah, the glare. <laughs> yeah, forget about the glare. It was cute-ish, but like, it did nothing. Nothing at all. I'm so glad the glare didn't win. What was the glare? It found dark areas. Like, wow, thanks. I uh, I couldn't see that that was dark, I guess. <laughs> We're just having a minor meltdown from uh, water. Don't get in a war of water. You will lose. Like, it, it always wins. No matter what happens, water will win. Can't fight water. You can try and keep it out of your house, but it'll find a way in. It's it's in your it's in your house right now. It's right behind you. It's right behind you. Quite literally, actually. Uh, you got moisture all over you. It's beating you you up from the inside right now. It sounds scary, but it's true. I 
I mean, you can show it who's boss by, like, sending it through you. And, like, drinking a lot of water. That's the only way to beat water is just drink a lot of water and stay very hydrated. And don't just drink, like, a Sprite or something because it has water in it. No, no, no. You got to drink the actual water. Straight. Straight up from the, from the hose. Uh, boop. And there we go. Gonna be water right here? No, okay. Oh wow, this just barely leaves us enough room to uh, have a water stream right here. Great. If you server undergoes a serious drought, yeah, you can't live with it too much, and you can't live without it. So, hypothetical question for you. If you had, say, multiple, multiple really, really efficient slime farms, uh, what, what would you do with all the slime? He's like 99.9% water. Yeah, but you gotta drink straight up water, too. Get a nice big old glass of water and drink it four times a day. Yeah, tea is just hot leaf water. You're right. Uh, so this is the original side. This is the diorite side. Okay, so that's going to meet up right here. And then 1133, was it? Yeah, okay, so here's our line. I'm surprised I remember that. What's all down here? Oh, that's right. The biggest puddle on the planet. That's where we got our uh, deep slate coal, isn't it? Yeah. I have night vision last time we came down here. Okay, that's a little bit too bright. Right, so I have to fight some more water. Uses the slime floor for other farms. Oh yeah, that's what we could do. Sticky pistons. Ultimate frog army. Have a bouncy castle? We have built camp bouncy castles before. We've definitely built bouncy castles out of slime. Season 2, the very top of our base was a bouncy castle. And it was glorious. The best thing ever. If you haven't built a bouncy castle in Minecraft, you're honestly missing out. Like, to be to be fair. It's way too much fun to be missing out on. Okay. And final one to build. Alright, are we putting copper minecarts on these? I'm forgetting to do that. At some point or another, we should start seeing items from all these. Two bouncy castles, that's true. Are the two more pyramid clones since last time? We need to go check that actually. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, we need to go see how many pyramids there are. I think there's a third one. Building the same redstone circuit five times or eight times. There we go. Okay, that should that should be all of them. That took a while, didn't it? Stuff just takes a while in this game. It's a slow game. People always expect you to get done everything really quickly. It's not how that works. Oh, 
when we're building quad slimy farms. Uh, let's see. You're stuck. Why are you stuck? Got rails on the one behind me. Probably somewhere. Yeah, I did. That one's working. Oh, yeah, I straight up did. <laughs> Oops. Okay, now we gotta figure out where these water streams are going. Right here, I think. Okay. So these two farms meet up and go down this tunnel. And then these two farms meet up and go down this tunnel. And these two farms meet up and go down this tunnel. Okay, so then we just got to lead this along somewhere down the scary dark tunnel. And we need to get it to a bubble column right here. Then we can start sending all the items up. that we got to build up the whole floor and all that. I think we're going to need two pieces of soul sand for this, which might be more than I have. I don't actually know. Okay. There we go. It's your first time here. Welcome in. The Oh, yeah. The watery AFK spot, too. Uh oh. I was trying to forget about that. I was trying to forget all about that and you wouldn't like you wouldn't let me. Okay, so I think this is what we'll need to build the next step of the farm. Uh, let's take down all this. Uh, yeah, we are going to build a slime around the uh, AFK spot. And then somehow hook that into the, the main entrance of this. Just steal, could I borrow some? Uh, enchanting would actually be nice. We do need to freshen up that bit of Minecraft a little bit for sure. Uh, we don't really have anything special happening with that. Oh, hey, today's video went to a 7 out of 10. It was 8 out of 10. Okay, so it's just doing very bad instead of very, very bad. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> YouTube is so hit or miss. I was really hoping today's video would do well. That's just getting like zero traction. And like if anybody else uploaded that same kind of video, it'd probably do great. Wee! <laughs> uh, we need to put a roof on this and all kinds of stuff. Okay, and now we need to drain it from water. Am I still in water? I am. Hard to tell if you're in water sometimes. When it's so clear. Top is probably overly saturated. It's it's brand new though. It's it's the Minecon hack. And I have never before seen information. Re <laughs> Oh well. Try again with another video. One video doesn't work out, just keep on uploading. 
what do spectral arrows do? They just basically uh, give a little bit of an outline and highlight to whatever gets shot at them. So if I got shot with one, I'd have like a little yellow outline all around me. And then you can see that outline through walls, uh, which is actually pretty cool. The glowing effect is pretty useful for mini games and stuff. At least we're getting spectral arrows. Who confirmed that? And when? Oh, I'm definitely gonna need more packed ice than this. Okay, let's let's jump up to the top of the base real quick. And then while we're up there, we can uh how did you get in here? Oh, we're missing some magma. I guess that'll do it. That'll definitely do it. Yeah, okay, let's get out of here. It's claustrophobic! <laughs> oh, that's my staircase now? Okay. Star guy on the inside. Well, that's specific. I mean, sure, we're getting spectral arrows eventually. But that's not, like, anything actually useful to say. Uh, let's see. Luckily, we have a lot of packed ice. Because this entire mountaintop was covered in packed ice. And then, while we're up here, soul sand. Ooh, we don't have any soul sand. Most basic thing ever, and we don't have it. Kind of embarrassing. Although I don't get the nether, so I guess that does make sense. We'll need to go steal two from somebody. Uh, let's grab a couple diamonds. Yeah, I'm paying one diamond per soul sand. <laughs> I'm not going to watch Hamilton on stream. I'm pretty sure that's a copyright thing. Right, who should we steal some? Trip in the nether. Never! Steal from the deep dark. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. Deep dark does have some. It's the only place to get soul sand in the overworld. I'm going to steal from Zloy. Uh, nope. Nope. Just beat root seeds. We've done this before. He had all the pumpkins in the world. I could have just taken some of those. SMH. I should look through Zoe's chest before doing any projects. <laughs> Why does he have a whole shulk robe? Oh, that's from the... That's from the prank that we did on Tistom. Here we go. I need some in the future. Shh. I was never here. Okay, so what do you guys actually think about this entire spawn area? Personally, I really like how there's just so much built. Okay, that got a little bit extreme. <laughs> I don't know where. I like how there's this whole pile of builds. The ice track is nice and new. Then we got the fairgrounds. We got the spawn town. And then we got... Uh, the humble hills, which is really nice. We got that mud thing. This has really gotten out of hand. That was not that tall like a day ago. And then we got this district right here. There's no more pyramids. Oh, they added green to it. Illegal. And then we got uh, the base over here from Jade. And Ricky Roy's actually in this direction somewhere. Yeah, you can see his bridge. And then this is JC right here. And then Slack is actually just off in this direction. 
It's it's a bit too far away to see though. Like there's people all around here, uh, but they're they're out of render distance, so they don't they don't exist unless you know that they're there or they have like a giant base. But yeah, I really like this whole spawn area. There's so much to look at, so many builds, a lot of stuff to see. It feels alive. And then on the other side of the mountain, there's like three bases, four bases. Got Liara underground over there. Beardstone. Sloy. Foxy. And then Jesse. And then DB. And then me. Like there's there's a lot of stuff. Right in this little area. If we had like 30 chunk render distance, I think it would look a lot nicer. You can just barely see me. Barely see Jesse. Foxy's Loy. Spawn. Chaos. Oh, yeah, there's also Zap right there, too. Uh, Tiz's Beat Room Farm is 8,000 blocks long by nine blocks wide. <laughs> <laughs> that giant tower, dirt blocks? Yeah, it's made out of dirt. The dirt tower. Whole tower of dirt. Geronimo! Why so many spooky sounds? The base looks so small compared to the mountains it's on, right? A huge mountain. All the glasses orange. Yeah, we swapped out all the all the base for orange. Uh yeah, I did that off camera. That looks really broken. And Gruva really broke his prank down there, didn't he? Why does it look like that? You can see the powdered snow, but the carpet like should still be there. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a fake. It's a fake out. It's a bug. It's a broken. It's a bedrock. It's a lie. That's what it is. It's also just one black carpet right there. Okay. <laughs> How long did it take to swap it out? Eh, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. Just kinda chilled. And did it. Talk to some peeps. Right then, we were down here to do a thing. Is this some water right here? Yep. Now I just expect there to be water everywhere. Grown accustomed to the pain. And now I expect the pain. Oh, it just looks better in your opinion. Well, it's not staying. I'm going to swap it back to magenta at some point. But yeah, it, it's, a, it's actually pretty good. Not going to lie. Like, the orange is actually really good. It's a great color. Ruva has uh, taught me the ways of the orange. And I have willingly received them. The ways of the orange are very good. Okay, so that's all that. red glass for Christmas. Oh yeah, we should totally do that. I would I'd be down for that. It doesn't take too long to swap it all out. So yeah we should totally do that. Yeah swap out all the orange for red. That's all we need to do. <laughs> yeah we're already halfway there to Christmas colors. Perfect. Man green is such a convenient color. I guess we we could swap out all the green for red right now. And that would uh, also be fine for Halloween. That would probably work a little bit better. I 
take all the white concrete, black for Halloween. Oof. I mean, that's a bit of a bigger deal. I'm sure Zoe could probably get that done, like, a night, though. Yeah, I mean, eh, eh, eh. no, maybe, no, maybe. <laughs> She's a texture pack. That's so cheating. I don't know how to make texture packs. Okay, uh, let's see. We need a roof on this thing as well. There we go. That's a lot of slime, isn't it? Noodles, welcome back for 14 months. How you doing? It's good to see you again. Long time. How have you been? This thing is speed. Okay, uh, I think we are about ready to place in all the water and stuff. I'm doing good. Glad that you're doing fine. Just Discord light mode. <laughs> a little bit. Okay, so a while later now, we have every single one of the rail lines in place for all of the farms. They're all going into auto droppers. And then we have a kind of a H-ish shape. Or maybe like a T with two crosses on it as the unloading and ice pathway so all of this is connected up to each one of the farms it's all going to be going down a super long ice way going up and then over and then up to like y190 and to the actual storage system so i just need to throw down a bunch of water a bunch of buttons and get all this stuff actually properly built up what is my sked sketch i don't what's a sketch Explain. Ooh, polish andesite. I forgot that existed. Okay, that should work. And then, yeah, we need to put some blocks right here just to keep those items from going directly upwards. We really need a crafting table down again because I'm getting way too much slime. Whose idea was it to build a slime farm? Ridiculous. Absurd idea. Actually, you know what? I don't think that's going to work very well. Let's, uh... Do something like that, I think. Yeah, hopefully that'll work out. Uh, we'll have to come back through this in a minute and see if there's any items stuck where they shouldn't be. Hopefully they all just, like, play nicely and go where they should. But I have a feeling some of them are probably going to get stuck. Just blame the mobs for the slime farm. Sure that nothing can go wrong? Absolutely. Is this bedrock condition? Yes. Why are you stuck again? You're the only one that's getting stuck. And now it's not going to stop. Of course. Oh, I set this up wrong. Okay, that explains it. Never mind. Hold up. No, I know what it is. Uh, this whole thing is a block too far forward. 
So that needs to be like right here. And then that needs to be a block board. And then this whole comparator does too. Yeah, and then a powered rail right there. Okay. Building redstone of full inventory is quite the fun thing. <laughs> there we go. Let's go already. And then, oh yeah, that needs to be a regular rail as well. Okay. Very silly. Yeah, we have a lot of slime. I'm being a derp is the problem. Yeah, that'll do it. But hey, I built seven of them, right? One out of seven being broken isn't too bad. <laughs> I'll take those odds. It could have been a lot worse, mind you. Oh yeah, see that? That overflowed. Oh, it just barely works. I'm not even in the optimal AFK spot right now. The slime farm is kind of cranking, giving us a few bits of slime. Of course, as soon as I say that, like, none comes through. Got some coming from all directions. Oh, yeah, look at that. Don't know if we'll have enough ice. Whoop. <laughs> oh yeah, we we need a way of uh, getting that tall pillar in place. I think we're gonna need some kelp for that. Definitely need some sort of block for that. Uh, Cause I don't have enough ice for it. Uh, kelp, if we bone mill that up and pillar all the way up, then we'll be we'll be fine. Okay, that'll work. Oh yeah, look at all this slime. This is good. I'm not even at the AFK spot, and this stuff is cranking. Uh, we got kind of a lot of it already just from building these ice streams. Now, bubble columns used to be really nice, and it would just form a bubble column even when you had just flowing water, but now it doesn't do that anymore. Okay, let's get out of here. Hello, Jesse. How you doing? You like the new aesthetic of the base? I swapped it all for uh, orange instead of magenta. Very orangey. Yeah, as a parody change, so they removed the uh, the flowing water for the kelp. This part right here really looks good. The orange on the chests, delicious. Yeah, the flowing water was a very nice thing. Not gonna lie, they should have just kept it. They made it convenient. Uh, but at least we can use kelp for it. It's just one extra step now. So it's not too bad. Parody, is that legal? <laughs> Parody changed to the other way, yeah. 
Uh, I don't think there's any water down there, is there? For me to land on? Oh, we also need some blocks, too. To fill up the uh, extra extra bits. How tall can you make a cup? You can make it as tall as you want. Five seconds. I don't think that's going to be enough. You're building a big auto storage system in your world. Uh, I like the multi-item storage systems. But everyone's got their own little preference and way they like to do it. Is that water? I don't think that's water. <laughs> Multi-item sorters are definitely good because you can store, you know, 54 different items per chest. So, it's resource efficient at least. 54 unique items. Or 3,450... 3,000... 456 items per chest. Let's see. Got to keep all this water in place. I'll take this. Thank you very much, Minecraft. Paying me for my trouble. This is a very big hole, by the way. <laughs> part of me regrets building all the way to the bottom of the world, but the other part of me is like, it's a fun base. You can fall for like 30 minutes. Am I playing on Bedrock Edition? Yes, we are. Oop, nearly fell down. <laughs> Would have been a bit awkward. Why am I falling through blocks? Yeah, this is how you know it's Bedrock Edition. <laughs> That's how you know it's Bedrock Edition. <laughs> Perfect example of uh, the game right there. <laughs> more emeralds? Nah. Oh my god. We're so close to the top. Come on, game. What happened? We fell into a block. The base just absorbed us. reaching the top yet? Almost. Been playing on Bedrock for 10 or 11 years. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. That's a long time. Okay. There we go. So that is everything we need for the uh, tunnel going down. Right. You gotta have a block underneath it. Otherwise it doesn't turn into water, which is kind of a good thing. Okay, that's going to take a while to flow down. We'll know when that happens by all those torches flowing away. Stump some items. Black rock, best rock. <laughs> Darn straight. Why would anybody play anything else? Why would they do that to us? Uh, let's see. We're definitely going to need all that kelp. And then... we we'll need some stone bricks. Is that done flowing yet? It's remarkably slow to flow all the way down. Yeah, see, it still hasn't reached the bottom yet. It just legitimately takes forever. Yeah, I think I've been playing Minecraft for like seven years now. So it started in 2015. It still isn't all the way down there. There it goes. Yeah, whatever. Just swim down. Oh, this is pretty quick. 
like I'm just holding forward now to uh, like swim. Okay, there we go. I was holding shift before and that was making me go really quickly. This isn't so bad. I can get used to this. Whee! Okay, so we should have another button right here, right? Do we not need one? We're gonna need another button. Oh, and then you can't have that be a soul sand because reasons. But a crafting table works. Rookie 2015, right? I mean, I had the opportunity to start playing in like 2012 or 13, but I thought the game looked bad, so I didn't try it. <laughs> I think it was only on PC then anyway, so I never really had a real chance to play it like a lot. Santa's kept bowling Java now. What? Parody? Parody? Where's my parody police at? It's capable on Java. This is also really flashy, isn't it? We can't get nice things like Java Edition because we're not Java Edition. We get our own special things because we're special. Okay, finally. Great, now we got to go back down there. <laughs> this is really efficient, I know. You like uh, Java... But uh, you play Bedrock way more than Java because it's so smooth. It is pretty smooth. Can be smooth. Yeah, baby dolphins. Does Java not have baby dolphins? Okay. Longest bubble column in existence is now done. Oh, uh, yeah, we, we can get more than a thousand levels. We had like a thousand three hundred or something. Or at least like a thousand a hundred, but everybody spent it. Y'all spent my levels on naming items. I've refused to go below a thousand. <laughs> I've gained one like twentieth of a level now since uh, our last like item name. Right then, so we just got to get all these items right here into this hopper. It's quite the effort, isn't it? Well, yeah, we'll do a big salmon. Big salmon makes it all worth it. So, hoppers. <laughs> we have one. Do, 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 do. Oop. Some of those. Okay. IBX toy cat, people. Everybody forgets about Toy Cat. Everybody forgets about Waddles. Toy Cat's the OG Minecraft YouTuber. He literally started his channel the day that Legacy Console Edition on Xbox 360 released. He is the guy. He's been doing this stuff since, like, forever. He is the ancient wise one. He's He's been through it all. He's seen it all. He's done it all. He's built it all. Uh, let's see. We need this to be at this height, right? The man built a sugarcane farm to build limit. Twice! Because they expanded build limit. <laughs> yeah, Twink has great.
We okay. Let's see. Uh, that'll that'll do it right there. Jeez, that was all of the uh, effort. Uh, now we need to configure that first item filter for slime. Yeah, Waddles is very much a do-everything, all-at-once kind of man. He, uh, he, he does it all. Let's see. Don't need the kelp anymore. It's a very temporary kelp. Uh, and there we go. We got chorus fruit in here. Banana block. I, I, I'm not, okay. Whatever. <laughs> not going to question that. We're not going to talk about it. Oh God, there's more of them. Oh, I like this one. This one's the best right here. This one specifically. Definitely a good one. Uh, let's see. That should that should be good. All of this should be good now. Where's the AFK spot? <laughs> it's like up. And we're just going to get some water prevention right here. Because I know... Yep, there it is. Yep. Proper planning pays off. There we go. We'll just stand right here at the AFK spot. Okay. So after like 10 hours of work, the slime farms are finally functionally complete. We still need to do some like decoration because... Uh, this isn't really a very practical AFK spot and the middle of an aquifer, but we do have all of the things done for all four of the slime farms. You can hear some of the snow golems. All the guys jump down, they die, and then they die again, and then they probably die again depending on the size, and all the items get picked up, and then they go into a water stream zipped up to the top of the base. And if we head up there in a minute, we will have some items. Wrinkled fingers. I don't get wrinkled fingers. I just peel. I just peel. Oh, I missed the wardrobe change from Vincy. Sorry about that. Also, I don't think Ash was here tonight, so we didn't time him out. Okay, let's give it another little bit of AFK until we get ourselves a bit of drowny. They die and then die and then die again forever. <laughs> yes. And in the watery walls. I don't like watery walls. Uh, Gamer and Blackstar along with Zig the, pu the Pizza Dude. And Buildmaster Blaz along with a couple others. Thank you for the follows and welcome in. Uh, we also got Greg with the bit the bitties. Sorry that I missed that. Vortex. Thanks for watching. Katie Undertale. And Ivy Like the Planet. Or Ivy Like the Plant. Uh, thank you for the follows, everybody. AFK spots not even lined up the freaking door. <laughs> and for the moment of truth, how much slime do we have in the box? Actually, a decent amount. We were literally down there for just long enough to drown. So that means that we have some slime coming through. Yeah, a bunch of slime up there. Very nice. So this thing is working. If we give it a while of AFK, uh, maybe, you know, two or three drowns worth, then we would definitely have a lot of slime to build with. Conduit's a good idea. Uh, I think Liara has every conduit on the server. I don't know if that's an exaggeration either. I thought this was like a junk bow from a skeleton for a second. I was going to throw it away. <laughs> Thank you. 
Go Baines. I really like how much it glows. Can I turn off the chat too? Where's the chat at? That should be underneath header. No. Essentials? Here we go. Give you guys a real look at it. I'm gonna ban that word. Y'all keep spamming that. <laughs> anyway. That is about gonna do it for today's live stream. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Hopefully you have greatly enjoyed. I should be live again on Thursday night, 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard, 8.30 Eastern. Let you carry an early Australian. And I will see you guys again on that one. If you enjoyed the stream, drop a follow. It's the best way to help support the channel. Make sure that you see future streams in the future. Definitely check out today's video on YouTube as well and subscribe over there so that you don't miss future uh, videos that I upload and I'm also on TikTok and Twitter. We got a discord and a patreon and all the things that you might expect uh, I don't see anybody that we know that's streaming So we're gonna go ahead and raid uh, The marine memo rescue center because they got some cute old otters and they're adorables So thank you again for watching everybody. I'll see you later. Thanks so much for watching here and then there was silence.